Excellent. So let's talk about one of the new features again uh, within our Microsoft 365 areas. And, and with me here is Kathy Du. Kathy, can you do a quick intro first? Yeah, hi, thanks for having me again. So I'm Kathy Du, I'm a senior product manager in the SharePoint space focused around SharePoint sites and how to give great sites experiences. Excellent. And that, that includes communication sites, all of the pages and all of that stuff. So it's all up the end user sites communication sites, kind of all up sites experiences. Which is yeah. communication sites equals to portals and intranets and corporate things and all of that stuff, which is, by the way, still a thing for sure. Uh, so people sure. need to communicate. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very much so. Absolutely. SharePoint is still very much alive and thriving. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Now, today we're going to talk about creating of pages and news directly from App Bar. Why, why is this a thing? What do we want to achieve with this? Yeah, the SharePoint app bar came about a couple of years ago now, and we've continued to innovate in the SharePoint app bar to provide new experiences and new ways for people to do things. And with our create panel and our create experiences, it unlocks new potential and new ways for you to do things. And with pages and news coming into create in the app bar, it really enables you to create pages and news in your sites from wherever you are. Have any of you ever felt that frustration before of you're in your site and you're in that document library and you want to create that news post, but oh, I have to go back to the home page to create it because it doesn't exist in the new drop down on that document yeah. library. Well, now you can just use the app bar to go create that news post right from wherever you are. Or if you're even in another site completely, but you want to create a news post or a page, you can create and then select the site that you want to create in right awesome. from the app bar. So it really yeah. unlocks that potential of page and news creation from wherever you are. And this is basically kind of a step forward on already with the creation of a site can be happening already from the app bar, um, which which was a change because I still remember back in time you needed to go to the SharePoint home or whatever it was called page, to be able to or, yeah. see in the create a site and, and and already having that there is good. But this is actually really good. So whenever the inspiration, you know, when I'm scrolling in our internet reading things and the inspiration strikes, I can just start writing directly there. Exactly. Yeah, it adds to our great experience that we'd already introduced in the create bar there, which was sites, yep. lists, documents, all of the other great experiences that we had for create already. Now you can add pages and news. Yeah, and, and again, that was almost like a joke on referencing the inspiration, but in real world, it's it's just the fact that you it doesn't matter where you are, you can click, I need to do, I have a task to write a news article. I'll click to create a news, regardless where you are, you can find the right location. So rather than forcing the end users and editors go to the site which they need to create that, we're exposing that creation experience uh, directly. It's just, it's just unlocking that potential, right? So yep. you can do it from wherever you are, and it just gives you that ability to easily create. So making it easier for you to do the tasks that you need to do from wherever you are. Cool. Let's let's jump on your screen and let's have a look on how it works. Yeah, fantastic. So you can see here, I'm in a document library and I have been asked to write a new page for my site. You know, we have this great new feature we're creating and we want to talk about it. So we want to go create a new uh, page for this. And if I'm in a document library, if I go to new, you can see it doesn't give me the option to create a page. So in the normal place, I would have to go back to the home or to a page to do that. But now I can simply go to the app bar and I can use create. And you can see right from here, I have news post and I have page. So I can select page. And when I select page, it's going to give me a couple of options when I come into page. I can search for a site. I can use the current site that I'm in, or I can look at recent sites. So I know that I actually want to create this in the site that I'm in. Why does it give me all of these options? We're actually looking at your site that you're currently in and also looking at your recent sites to uh, give you sites only where you have permissions to create or edit pages to be able to give you this list for what you can do. So here I have permissions to create here in my current site. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And once I do that, it's going to launch my page experience. So you can see it starts creating that page in the background. I get my templates to pick from and I can jump straight into that page creation experience and create that page right in that site where I was. So it gives me that great easy the ability to create it. I know that this is going to succeed because I have permissions to create or edit pages in this particular site. So it gives me a really great way to go in and do this.
Now, let's take a look at this from a different experience. So here I am in that SharePoint start page. And I want to go create a new uh, page here. I had the option before to create a news post from here, but I want to create a page. So I can go and I can use that same create page. And you can see I have this ability now. I want to show recent sites. And so I can see all of those different sites. Again, all of these sites that it's showing me are sites that I have the ability to create or edit in. So I can pick one of these sites. I want to add this to my community garden site. So I'm going to select that. It's going to redirect me over to my community garden site. And then I can pick my page and I can go through and create that page. If I am redirected into a site where I have page templates, because I'm going into that site to create the page, that site's page templates will show up here for me to select from. So if you have page or news templates in the site that you're asking to go to and create into, you'll have those as options to select from. So this is a really great way for you to do this, and it's easy to go and create from wherever you are, but it's super easy to do, and it makes it great for you to create from wherever you are. News, pages, from anywhere. Excellent. Thank you, Kathy. That was really, really good. Um, I didn't want to even jump and ask any questions because, you know, you covered the whole feature and it's it's super easy and sweet to do that. So, yeah, it's, it's a really it's a really straightforward feature. I mean, it it's just so simplistic, right? Like, why didn't we do this earlier? But it's so great <laughs> and it'll really, we think, enable you to get going faster and to yeah. unblock creation. And we're really yeah. looking forward to see people being able to create pages and news a lot easier now. Being, being able to be more productive, more efficient, uh, which is which is always a good thing for a software. So we keep on improving and improving. And and I think the the let's say the boundaries of the individual sites are getting now more and more let's say less because in back in time it was like a site you need to find the site and otherwise the experience is different. Now that's no longer the case in SharePoint. Yeah, and I think the really important thing for this experience is just knowing that what it's returning and showing to you as the site options for you to pick yeah. from are already trimmed out for the only places where you will be able to create or edit from. So yeah. if you don't see a site that you think that you had permissions to, uh, we do give you, if you've gone through recent or you've searched for it and you don't see it, we do you know, direct you back to that SharePoint start page to search for it because it may be that you have that site, but you may not have the right permissions to create yep. and edit into. And so it may be something that you need to go request those permissions for. So just be and keep in mind that you know it is a permissions trimmed list of what you have permissions to create into so yeah. that's really important for people to keep in mind as they're using the experience yep really really cool any any um i have to ask any insights groups on anything else happening in app bar maybe in the future that we can tease out <laughs> Um, with the app bar right now, we're really focused on making it better, um, adding in little small things. You may have seen search coming into that panel. Uh, we're trying to make little incremental improvements everywhere, making it faster, getting everything to show up the most recent, the latest, having um, things show up in a more accurate manner and really just making those small incremental improvements there. Uh, we're making a few, you know, small changes to make it look better and perform better right now. Uh, and then you never know where we're going to go next. <laughs> That's that's good. There's always ideas. There's always a roadmap, um, and but the timelines and all of that and priorities. Yeah, and we have a we have a huge roadmap ahead for the the app bar, but we don't have anything currently on our like timeline of where we have dates projected for anything yet. Yeah. But that always changes. So yes. uh, what I tell people is to always watch for our big events for you know seeing things out. That is where we tend to talk about big changes first. Uh, but the app bar is an integral experience. Right. We did recently announce the end of the disabling period. So yep. you're no longer able to disable the app bar. So if you had previously disabled it, you get a, a year to leave it off, uh, but you can no longer disable the app bar. So we're looking forward to seeing more people using the app bar. And as we have more people using it, we will continue to invest in making improvements there. Sounds good. Sounds really good. I, I guess that's close up the, the, the video. Thank you, Kathy. Really, really cool feature. And, and thank you for joining on, on getting that recorded as well. And, and a bit 
that talking about the background as well, because that's always beneficial for customers and partners to understand. Yeah, and just, you know, stay tuned. We have a lot more coming and uh, creation is a huge focus for us right now. Sounds good. Thanks, Kathy. Thank you. Thank you.